You take shower with cold with gold if you want to, right? Nothing will happen, right? If this revolt. <laughs> okay. There are a lot of fake gold, that's why. Okay? So the activity series of metal actually tells you if you have remember this. Uh, when we do oxidation and reduction, what is the common sense? When we do oxidation and reduction, we always say that metals are what? Oxidized. Non-metals are reduced. Common sense, right? If I have like sodium and chlorine, if I ask you on exam which element is oxidized, you don't have to worry. Metal, sodium is oxidized, and chlorine is reduced. That is between metal and metal. Right? I mean, metal and non-metal. So they make chlorine, right? Metal and non-metal. But you may have a situation like this. Okay? We, we're going to take a situation of this case right here. And we're going to find out which is oxidized and which is reduced. Let's let's take nickel nitrate versus with iron. Okay? And see um, which element is oxidized and which element is reduced. Suppose you have Nickel nitrate. I have I have this with iron. What is the product? Iron nitrate. Iron nitrate. Fe. NO3, right? <coughs> right? Plus. Okay. Nickel. Okay, this is aqueous. And this is sodium. How do we know what iron is? Uh, uh, that's a good question. I would I would consider it's iron plus two. Let's assume it's iron plus two. Okay, uh, it's iron plus two. You can say it's up to you. You can start with iron plus three, but iron plus two is a common common iron in most cases. You can say iron plus two. What about in case we find it? Someone you are telling us just to take iron. Plus I would I would uh, give you an indication. Maybe this is iron plus. Okay, so that, that might solve the problem. How do you know like nitrate is dissolved? Who? How do you know, is, how do you know like Ni is dissolved? Uh, okay, that's a question. How do we know Ni is a solid? Yeah. Who can answer that? Now let's go with again. I want you to go back with the activity series of metal. If you see the activity series of metal, we know that iron is here and the nickel is somewhere here, you remember? And we have gold here, we have sodium here. Okay, so any element above is always oxidized. Any element above is always oxidized, any element above is always be reacted. It is going to be substituted. This element is more active to replace nickel because Iron is on the top of nickel. Okay? Yes? You follow me? Yeah. Iron is on the top of nickel. Now, the question is, you know, earlier I said that uh, if you have metals and then metals, there's no any ambiguity, there's no any confusion. Metal is oxidized. Then metal is reduced. Because Metals are oxidation means always lose of electron. Metals technically they lose electrons, right? Reduction means gain of electron. Then metals always what? They gain electron. Very, right? The problem is, say for example, we have a situation here, metal versus metal. Okay? In order to identify which element is oxidized, which element is reduced, what is that we need to do? What's that we need to do? We need to the activity series and find out which one is more easily oxidized than the other. Okay, you have to find out, okay, according to the activity series, which one do you think will be oxidized? Iron. Iron will be oxidized, nickel will be reduced, right? So that is one reason we can answer that. Another reason, how do we know which one is oxidized and which one is reduced? What do we need to do? Make ionic equation. You see, you remember, we have molecular equation, we have ionic equation, and we have an ionic equation. 
we need to do the Newton equation. So according to the Newton equation, this should be like nickel plus two, right? So NO3 minus, because this can be dissolved. This is going to be just iron, because it is not reacted. It is solid. It is solid. It's by itself. Over here, this is going to be Fe plus two. Okay, first of all, we have to, uh, yes, we have to balance the equation, okay? Uh, we have to balance. Suppose the NO3 2. Uh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I forget that. You're right. So, uh, so this is going to be, uh, it's balanced. It's already balanced. It's balanced, right? Yeah, NO3 2, yeah. Um, and we have two NO3 minus, right? And we have Ni, nickel. <coughs> Solid, right? So, from this, this is a, this is a kind of a, a, a ionic equation. It's not a, a net ion equation, but it's an ion equation. So, uh, you, if you want to get a net ion equation, what do you do? You have to remove what we call it? Spectator ions. Spectator ions. What are the spectator ions? Nitrate. nitrate and nitrate here, right? So they have be eliminated. Do we have any other spectator ions? No. Okay, so we have nickel plus two um, plus Fe, right? From the left hand side, we have Fe plus two and nickel, right? This is zero. Okay, so how, how, how is that? How is that? What do you mean? How is that? <coughs> uh, if you balance the equation, what do you get? Um, oh, okay. Right? Because I, I remove the spectator ions. I, I got that. Part. Okay. So what's happening from nickel plus two to nickel zero? Reduced. It's reduced. Okay. Right. Huh? It, Okay, from nickel plus two, you get into nickel zero. What does it mean? It's it's a gaining. It's gaining two electrons, right? It's gaining. Gaining of electron is called reduced. Reduction. So nickel is reduced, right? What happens with iron? Iron is oxidized. Remember the position of iron. It's the active series of metal. It's a position where metals are easily oxidized. than nickel. Okay, because it's above nickel. So the activity series of metal provides you an information. Which element can be oxidized, which element can be reduced, which element can easily be corroded or reacted or actively involved in chemical reaction, and which element is resisting to react. Yes. Uh, the first one, instead of nickel, if you have the, if you have the zinc, then iron will be solid and then zinc will be aqueous? Yes, yes. We can, we can pick any examples. We can pick any examples. So what is going to be solid and what is going to be aqueous? What is going to be The bottom is going to be solid and what the top is going to be aqueous? It's going to be, yes. Okay. Yes. We can, uh, in fact, I have some examples I can show to you. Can I move on? Let's see. Yes. On the reactivity series, hydrogen was in blue. Does that mean anything? Well, you know, hydrogen is ambiguous. I mean, hydrogen is there. You know, for sure, hydrogen is not a beta, right? Hydrogen is a non beta. But see, since the electron configuration of hydrogen is pretty much similar to us of the metals, it's assigned there. Because sometimes hydrogen acts as a positively charged ion, sometimes it's acted as a negatively charged ion. So, we always put hydrogen, okay? Um, so here's a question for you. Let's do this as a practice for all of us so that uh, we can understand more. Uh, will an aqueous solution of iron to chloride, write this, I want you to do as a practice. Uh, you have iron, what is the formula for iron to chloride? What's the formula for iron to chloride? F E C L two. F E C L two. Okay. Iron to chloride is F E C L two. Now you have iron to chloride 
Can it oxidize with magnesium metal? If yes, you need to write the balanced equation, the molecular equation, and the net end equation of the reaction. If no, there's no reaction. <laughs> you don't have to write anything. Okay? So, first of all, what is your guess, your prediction? Yes. Your prediction is yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, if you say yes, go ahead and write down the reaction and show me uh, which element of the two will be oxidized. Is it iron or magnesium? And which element is reduced? Okay. What is the net ion equation looks like? Once you do that, the next thing is uh, which of the following metals? I have a list of metals here: copper, silver, chromium, platinum. Barium, potassium. I have a list of metals here. I want you um, uh, to tell me which of these metals will be oxidized by lead nitrate or reduced. Okay. Again, the idea is the one on the top, the top of lead. Always they can be what? They can easily be oxidized. They can easily be reacted. The one that are resisting to be oxidized are the ones that are below lead. Okay, lead is also heavy metal. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, sometimes if you see like barium or potassium, your prediction will be what? Barium and potassium, where do you find barium and potassium generally? So, on the top. On the top, so they can easily be oxidized. But you have to look, maybe copper, silver, chromium, platinum, you may not be sure. You may not be sure whether they can be oxidized or not. Okay, so let's do the first one and let's see what, what comes, what, what is your net reaction? And what do you, what's your findings? Can you say iron, iron 2 chloride is going to be FeCO2. What's in iron 2 chloride? FeCO2. FeCO2, yes, yes. and magnesium metal. So the question, okay now, when these two react, magnesium is more active than iron, right? So there should be a kind of reaction, a substitution reaction, or a single replacement reaction, right? So what would be the product I need to be If these two react, what do you get? If magnesium substitutes iron, what, what is the product here? Mg. Mg Cl2. Does magnesium replace iron? Okay. And what what is left? What's left? What is the other product? Iron. Okay. This is what you get. This is a molecular equation. Why is it made in It's a metal. If you read the, 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 uh, the question, the magnesium oh, metal magnesium is oxidized, right? Okay. It's reacted with iron chloride solution, right? So you will have magnesium chloride and iron. So, you know, this is one of the reasons that you can't say or you can't keep uh, a solution made from iron chloride in a, in a container made from magnesium because it can easily be dissolved. You never have your iron chloride at the end of the day. What do you have? You have magnesium chloride. Okay? Your iron chloride is boom, it's gone. You have something else. So when you pick a container, you have to pick a container that's made from the element which is not above but below of that solution. Do you understand? below that solution. So, in this case, it is expected that there should be a reaction because magnesium is above iron. Magnesium is above iron. That means magnesium is easily oxidized, easily reacted. Easily reacted. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick a container not, from made, not made from magnesium, but something maybe copper, okay? Something maybe silver or something less than uh, uh, there's an iron, okay, in the list of the active series of metals. So, 
the first thing that we need to make sure that we, the equation has to be balanced. And we see here the equation is balanced. This is a molecular equation. If you do the ionic equation, this is going to be iron plus two, right? And chlorine minus magnesium as is. You will have magnesium plus two and chlorine minus, right? And iron. So once you do like this, you can tell which is your, uh, we, we, you can tell which is your uh, spectator ions, spectator ions. What are they? Chlorine. The chloride ion, everybody's okay with that? Right? You remove the chloride ion here, you remove the chloride ion, and you will have Fe plus two and Mg, zero. The oxidation number of a monoatomic element is zero. If it's not reactive with any other element, that means protons and electrons are the same. Okay, no loss or no gain of electrons here. And you have Mg plus two and Fe, zero. This is aqueous. This is solid. This is aqueous. Okay? So, this is a Lefanic equation here. So, what do you think here? Which element is oxidized? Which element is reduced? By looking at the Lefanic equation. Iron is reduced. Iron is reduced, yes, and it's expected. Iron is reduced, and magnesium is oxidized. Is it true in respect of the activity series of metals? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's true in the activity series of metals. It's expected that iron should be oxidized because iron is above, uh, I mean, magnesium is oxidized because magnesium is above iron in the activity series of metals. And it's expected that iron is also reduced because it is below the activity series of metals. The next question we have. Have you done with this one? Okay. 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 The next question we have is um, now which of the following metals will be oxidized by lead nitrate and which are not? Okay, we have to see the activity series of metals. What do you think about copper? No. Okay, Kim, you say no. And Beverly you say no. Can you give me the answer? Williams say no too. Why do you think no? Because copper is? Above. Copper is it's below. It's below, right? Look on the activity series of metals. I don't have it here with me. <coughs> How about silver? No. no. Why? It's also below, right? How about chromium? CR. It will react. It will react. Why? Because it's above the nitrate, so it's still oxidized. Did you find it? Well, chromium is a part of the first round or the last round, so how are we supposed to know? That doesn't take it. Well, in this case, yeah. In this case, yes. But uh, uh, if I give you on a test or on an exam, maybe I don't give you the table, so. I would pick an element, which is maybe the first five in the last five element. <laughs> uh, I don't want to create confusion or complicated your life. Okay? At least if you remember the first five in the last five, that would be enough really. I, my point is whether you understand it or not. Just I can't pick an element from the middle. Okay? In that case, you have to remember all of them. Okay? It's possible if you really invest your time, right, Donna? It's possible. <laughs> Platinum. Platinum? No. No. Barium? Yes. yes. Potassium? Yes. So now we understand the concept, right? Okay. All right. We're going to we're going to move to the next one. Um, Can we get another question like that? Maybe one question sometimes. Oh yeah, you get the question, Alexis. You definitely didn't want to take a question. No, I'm saying for the like work. Because, no, so. yeah, work with it in class. That's what I mean. Oh, to just yeah, to make a practice? Yeah. Yeah. 
Can you oh. like over and over the book without grading it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I can give you, uh, you know what? What's going to be the question? Okay, good question. Oh, oh, you don't have to do it, but like, the person who wants to do it, you can. You're welcome. Write this down. Uh, man, man can is, man can is, no, it's a problem. And uh, based on that, you're going to give me which is it copper or silver will be oxidized or reduced. Uh, silver has a charge of plus one, by the way. Silver has a charge of plus one, okay? Uh, copper, copper has a charge of plus two, okay, to make it. To make it clear, copper has a charge of plus two and silver has a charge of plus one. Okay. Is it public? No. Uh, okay, you have to use R here. What do you use R? You sure?